Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm on a buddy of mine's computers. You see the threats that's being detected. Look at that. Okay, so his computer was um taken over ransomware. He called the place, and his brother ended up calling me and telling me that um uh, he said that Microsoft had um, told him his computer told him that it was um, hacked and had a problem and he need to call his number. Your computer doesn't tell you anything, okay? You tell the computer what to do. All right, Microsoft is not in the business of instructing you on what to do with your computer. That I, it just it don't work like that. They will talk to corporations before they talk to a, a single user. Okay, um, partial of the problem. He's doing the typical things using um, Internet Explorer, which I don't recommend to use. Firefox or Google Chrome, I do recommend. Um, but anyway, they gave him a, a password or something and um, confirmation number. They entered in and they was remoting in the computer. And then I told him immediately to kick the guy out. He was having trouble kicking the guy out. So that was about a 30-minute process or so. We finally got the guy out by disabling the Wi-Fi on his laptop, just um, hitting disable Wi-Fi. And um, we got the guy out. And um, turning off the Wi-Fi, and then I went on to um, go to assist. I had them go to um, Control Alt Delete Task Manager, and I figured they was getting in and using some remote support software, which was which they were, which was um, go to assist. So I had them remove that, and um, and once he removed that, I had them um, run my program that I use to usually um, log people in, which is a great product that I've used for quite a while. I use that Team Viewer Quick Support. And um, I went in real quick and this is what I'm doing. It's just basic things. I'm, I'm using my another program I love to use, which is Ravel, to remove a, a bunch of things that I don't think he needs on here. And um, and once I got that, get this done, then I'm gonna just go ahead and um, secure him with um, the pro free programs I use, such as AVAS and so forth and so on. But the thing is, his computer was taken over and one of the ways that it was taken over and it was infected um, and it usually you could tell just by going to someone's download folder what have they download and um, he downloaded a driver update and probably unknowingly you know more more than likely downloading um, uh, let's see here some trying to get a updated Adobe Flash or something for instance and clicked on the wrong link and before you know it now he um he he didn't you know clicked on something that he was supposed to and um just to give you guys a real quick example i'm gonna just type in adobe and here's the thing i uh, a lot of people listen that is your address bar <laughs> this is becoming you don't if you're uh, what i get is a lot of people think that that going to that this is their address bar okay and I'm trying to get them directly to something because if you google Adobe Flash Player if we google that look at the different results you're gonna get you know and then you you might get a whole bunch of stuff that you don't necessarily want and then you before before you know it you into some things that you probably shouldn't be into but if you type it in directly into your address bar now you got a whole different scenario you're going directly to what you need and you're bypassing the BS always type in addresses at the at your address bar at your address bar alright and that, that's just my recommendation for people um, and to keep you a little bit out of, of of trouble don't use Internet Explorer that's another thing that to keep you a little bit out of trouble use Firefox or Google Chrome set it up um, don't don't download something if it says you need a, a driver update or something like that don't download that you know just just leave it alone okay so again to recap your computer don't tell you what to do you tell the computer what to do if the computer tells you or popped up and says something you being hacked please call this number and they saying that they were Microsoft it is a lie it is a fraud it is a scam even if they don't ask for your credit card right away down the road that's what they're gonna ask you to buy something they're gonna ask for your credit card they're gonna lock you out of computer so forth and so on so 
I don't I don't know how many more ways I can stress this, but you are the controller of your own domain. <laughs> okay, so you control the computer. You tell the computer what to do. The computer never tells you what to do. Okay, um, unless you put some software on there specifically pertaining to um, things like antivirus and AVAS, and it says, "Hey, so we detected something. What do you want us to do?" That would be a typical response for a computer, not a computer saying, "Hey, you're you're infected. Call this number." And Microsoft will help you. That's that's spam. That's ransomware. That's whatever you want to call it. So people, please do not let the computer tell you what to do. Okay, please do not let it tell you what to do because then you're going to be going through situations like this with over 1,300 some threats. And I'm not even done with this computer. And he's um, you know, he's a state or two away. So there's, I'm I'm just the best thing I could do for him right now is just clean it up remote supportly and um. And, and just knock it out that way. But I mean, a lot of this could be prevented if um, if we just don't let the computers tell us what to do. And, and I run across this and I see this with, um, with certain um, jobs too. I go somewhere, I go to a bank, I go here, I go to, and they say, oh, I can't, I can't do this because the computer's saying this. Listen, <laughs> you, again, the computer, don't tell you what to do you tell the computer what to do you know so if you're to the point to where you can't move or operate around that then you have an issue you know you should be able to but um again to recap if you get something like that disable your wi-fi would be the first move that i would tell you to do then hit a three key combination control let me see it here control alt and delete so you would hit all three of them at the same time that will usually bring you up to a screen like this I'm gonna bring it up on my computer so you can see and you would go to start task manager okay then you, this is Windows 7 so it's a little different but in, in um, Windows 10 it will be somewhat similar you will see apps and you, you will see on um, processes and then just look down to see what's running and if you see something like go to assist or some sort of remote support in that process, end it. And um, then cut your Wi-Fi back on and they should be out of your computer, you know, by, because they were they were just in there remotely. The guy was, as I was telling him what to do, the person working on a computer kept, um, basically they just kept telling they just kept kicking them out so he couldn't do anything then they sending them text messages saying hey don't touch the computer leave the computer alone so forth and so on wouldn't let them do anything and um this is a complete nightmare complete nightmare so um but yeah just start task manager and and end everything that um that that you think pertains to remote support cut your internet back on go get a couple of programs such as revel on a staller avas super anti-spyware malware bytes so forth so on or get a good tech that you know and trust to go through it and do what they need to do but um don't let the computer tell you what to do I'm, I've, I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while i'm sorry that it's drawn out and a little, it's a little long but it's a kind of a little bit of an information to put in one single video and i just want you guys to know that you tell the computer what to do not the other way around